Hey guys, how are you? This is Phil from Cal Harbor Bait and Tackle. Uh, just tuning in to show you guys some of my newer products. Uh, some of you have probably heard of them by now. If not, uh, I've been creating old school styles of rigged eels. Uh, very recently I've been putting them in packages more suitable to surf casting. Um, you know, they're smaller so you could slip it right into your bag. And if you end up not using them for the night, you can always take them home and refreeze them in our convenient vacuum sealed packaging. Now I'm going to try and, and show you my newest invention is the rattling eel. I've placed uh, rattles inside of the eel before I sew it shut using 50 pound Dacron and uh, 50 pound uh, rigging floss. Now listen closely, I have my skeleton case on my GoPro so you might be able to hear it, you might not. In case you can't, turn up the volume. Here we go. That's fish and mojo right there. Also what I want to bring to you is, again, some of you people might have heard uh, recently uh, through our posts on Facebook, but these are my eel jigs. Uh, I'm using um, jig heads from s, s Bucktails. Bernie over there has been supporting us greatly uh, with our newer eel products. And what I basically do is uh, I take a smaller eel, depending on what size you want, if you want a custom order, you want big eels, you want little guys, I generally keep shoestrings anywhere from 12 to 16 inches. And what I do is um, I hollow out each eel and uh, to the point where I can actually flap the skin over the end of the s, &S jig head there. And uh, what we do is you basically run the, um, the thread through and around the collar of the bucktail and uh, then we asphyxiate the hook um, towards the back of the hook. That way it keeps a straight rudder to keep your eel kind of straight instead of spinning all over the place. So that's it for now. Uh, we have a storm coming, so I'm thinking that the barometric pressure is um, relatively high, uh, you know, relative to the past couple of days that we've had. We've had a couple of nice warm days, but I'm gonna go out and see what's doing with the pressure. Uh, there's been bait fish around our area. Uh, running around on the north shore of Long Island and so uh, I'm gonna go out give it a shot We've got a full moon tonight. I'm gonna go out and uh, catch the incoming tide let you guys know how I do tight line